Be sure to get your free copy of Bob Hurley's Guide to a Great Basketball Practice. Just click the link down in the description or the comments for your free ebook. I think the players are responsible for the mood every day of practice. They're also responsible for correcting mistakes. Coaches are responsible for, for putting them in a situation where it's a learning atmosphere, but they're responsible for the energy, the level of enthusiasm, and I think you really need to hold your oldest players responsible for that. When you correct a mistake at practice and bring it up in front of the group, it shouldn't occur a couple of minutes later because it was only supposed to apply to one player. Mistakes are supposed to be things that the entire group is going to correct. Uh, as I said, have a 30-second meeting right after stretching and then get your practice started. In the first 15 minutes of practice, you want your players to mention the names, first names, of all the players on the team, every pass that they throw, every shot that's taken, the name of the player and shot for the first 15 minutes. As a head coach, I want to mention the name of every kid in the first 15 or 20 minutes of practice. It's a positive thing. I want to get each kid mentioned, way to run, way to get up, nice strong layup, say something positive. So as the practice goes on and you become more demanding, there's a little balance in your relationship. There's a significant thing we hold in our school, and it's wearing the maroon shirt. When practice starts the first day of the season, we designate five kids who are going to be the starters. If there are some returning kids who have worked hard, they're also going to wear maroon shirts. As they come into practice, the six or seven people will have maroon shirts on. It's their job all day to keep those shirts. The job of the other unit, the gold shirts, is to try to get themselves on the maroon shirts sometime that day. When practice ends that day, at the end of scrimmage and free throw shooting as you go home, the five people who ended the practice that day as the maroon shirts are going to be the maroon shirts to start the next day. If you have a game the next day and the five guys work, this is the group we're going to start the next day in the game. It has never come back to haunt us. It's always been something that stimulated the guys working hard in practice, and it always promotes what I say about there's no such thing as a game player. Pre kids come to practice every day to improve. Uh, I also want to change the practice partners. If you've got people matched up in the drills by position, I don't want them to continue to be the same partners all year. Sometimes they don't push each other as much as they should, so we'd rotate a little bit. Uh, keep stats on drills of practice, shooting drills. We want numbers for the shooting drills that the kids are shooting for every day, whether they're the numbers that we've gotten from the drill, we've gotten from a coach, that number, or the best number we ourselves have attained, something the kids are looking to shoot for. Uh, once or twice a practice, I'll go to a spot on the floor I'll close my eyes and I'll just stand there and I'll listen to practice. I'll just concentrate on the voices of my players and the sound of their sneakers on the floor. You can find out a lot about your team by just going to a spot in the gym closing your eyes and you'll find that there isn't enough communication and you don't hear that cutting, the sharp moving, because they're probably not generating enough energy. So the kids will see me do that, and they'll know that it's a situation where I'm listening to the way practice is going. Use a variety of skill drills, and make sure that you always tell the kids where you've gotten that drill from. Uh, it, there's nothing better than a kid knowing that coach is out on a regular basis working on finding good drills to use in practice. It gives the kids a feeling that they have an edge over somebody else by having these things you know, at their disposal. Uh, do your conditioning with a basketball. The only time we run at practice for the sake of running is when someone has done something in school, the group is punished. If someone comes late to practice and they haven't called us, the group runs while that young man will stand on the sideline and he'll suffer later as the players uh, question why he wasn't responsible enough to, to call. Uh, utilize the assistance at practice every day. Help to bring them along. Make them ambitious. Let them know that they're going to have a chance to be head coaches someday. And utilize all of the space you have in your gym. If you have six baskets, break your practice down so you use your outside four baskets of practice. You use all six for shooting and skill drills. And you get into a situation where you can utilize all the space. Uh, end practice on a positive note, as I said. And make sure that the promotion of uh, the practice players carries over to the rewarding for starts. 
uh, guys that work hard to practice every day turn out to be the best players. Rarely does a kid go through a practice and just not want to be in that first unit. So I think keeping it up at a high level is very important.